Hello, trading is closed on November 20th, 2019. Before I start, I want to say I'm recording this on a old computer because I may not have access to my usual one for part of next month. And I'm hoping this still works. If it doesn't work, please send me an email and let me know. Okay, well, let's go over our calls. <clears throat> we said yesterday's pattern was negative and that all we had to do to get lower prices was to avoid gapping over this high. We did that and all we had to do to confirm that the top was in was to undercut uh, lows of prior consolidations and we haven't done that yet. So we still have this as a possible end of wave blue B but until we undercut some prior lows. We just can't be absolutely confident. There's a new target for tomorrow, 3097.43. Unless we gap up sharply, sharply, that's favored to print. Well, during the day, at right close to the low, we got a MJT plus four buy signal. Um, the uh, MJT system identified this drop as false so it wouldn't stick. It now says this rally's false won't stick and gives us this target. Now people who have read my book know the MJT plus four buy signal um, doesn't work as often as some other signals do. It certainly isn't obligated to give a rally of this magnitude. And as I say in the book, I don't even take the signal unless I plan to move in that direction anyway. So unless you had something else to make you positive on the market, I don't think it would be enough to say I bought the low. But I, I do think it's enough to talk you out of going short around here because there's a good chance higher prices are coming. And it is enough if you are short to justify putting a stop on the position so even if you don't make a gain and again a gain of this magnitude is not guaranteed by the system at least it could offer you the chance to protect yourself against the loss as i've said before even if you never make a trade with the system your results should improve not because you've taken not because you've gotten more winners but because your number of losers will drop dramatically well <clears throat> see what we have this was our pattern um, so far that seems to be holding I'm gonna make the assumption that that high is gonna be it but until we undercut some of these lows we can't be 100% confident, even though futures are down smartly as I'm recording this. I have no idea how they're going to open. I've taken some of the clutter out here. We're using this as the wave count. I'm hoping that's going to stick for blue B. And if so, we'll be in blue C down, which usually has a fib relationship to A. But I have my eraser handy if we take out this high before we take out those lows. Well, here's, here's the issue for tomorrow. This is a very important trend line. See those lows, this high, this high, all these lows. We dropped right to that trend line, but not through it. When you have a straight line drop to a trend line like this, either you gap under the trend line or the trend line wins. Doesn't mean you won't trade under it, but if you trade under it tomorrow, it won't stick. Um, so if we don't gap under um if we don't have a gap under today's low um we're not looking for a sustainable drop tomorrow if we do gap under it then that doesn't apply one issue with today's drop 
is we had this great big channel. We broke it convincingly, and then not only couldn't we hold it, we went over it, retested this as support, rallied, and rallied under the low of this consolidation. So if we gap under this low tomorrow, all is forgiven. But if not, you could interpret this as a rejection of the break. Well, here's what I have. Thursday's pattern has the early high. Typically, it's a rally day with a high near the close. Failure is a straight line drop. Supposedly, about 20% of the time, it'll fail. Mixed signals. It's possible to count this wave down here as complete. This could be A, there's B, and C is twice A. Now, if you could say this is your ABC up, and we're going to drop again, it's a reasonable interpretation, but it certainly isn't the only interpretation. And it's really stretching it a bit, I think, to say that's three waves, although it doesn't break any rules, just doesn't have the look, if you know what I mean. Um, of course, this doesn't have to be the proper count, so I mean, the whole idea could fail. It's just we have to allow for a recovery tomorrow. Okay, mixed signals. We have VIX went over its upper Bollinger Band, and that reversed, that gives a buy. We gap down, hit a lower low, couldn't hold that low, couldn't even hold the low of this consolidation. There was high volume on the drop that tends to be a sign of capitulation. Now, when you have signs of capitulation at the end of a, of a drop, that tends to be it. When you have them at the, be at the beginning of a drop, uh, it typically means there's more drop to come just doesn't have to come tomorrow, and I take things a day at a time. The timing of the stilt down, this here makes it very suspect to me. I don't trust big moves that occur during lunch. I also don't trust big moves that happen because of a news announcement. They tend to, they tend to reverse quickly and completely. It is negative. We have a lower media T target. I think we've rejected the all-time high. We did it yesterday and confirmed it by trading lower today. Until we trade under some of these lows here, though, the whole thing can be invalidated by trading over this high. So we have the standard rules. Just review them again of um, mixed signals. Commonest thing is the gap and the fast move outside the day's range. But that's not the only thing. You could also close a little change, have the big move the next day. Um, I'm not much of a guesser, but if I had to guess, I think that's more likely than the top one. You, know, you really get big moves two days in a row like this. wouldn't surprise me. We didn't have much change at tomorrow's close, but who knows. And of course, neither one of those things happened. Neither one of those things have to happen. Those are just the commonest things. We have a target. If we don't gap up, it's favored to print. It looks like the high's in, but until we go just a bit lower, we don't have all the confirmation we need. And that's today's call.